a video that has gone viral on social media of three, I, I can't call them women, demons trashing a very popular fast food restaurant in lower Manhattan. Has a lot of people talking, but what is really behind what took place here? Because not many people are talking about that, and I'll try to break it down for everybody here in less than 10 seconds. First, if you could, if YT lets you, try and hit that like button for me. Also, please share the video. Very important you do that. Hit the bell, subscribe, and wear the glasses because I'm blind. The name of the restaurant, Bell Fries. Very popular location. This took place on Sunday, July 3rd, and it's uh, it's been some days since it happened, but it's still being talked about, and the video is still going around out there. In fact, I'll put the link for you down below. You can see exactly what took place here. But what they're saying here is that this whole thing started because the restaurant was going to charge an additional dollar and seventy-five cents for extra dipping sauce. Now, okay, is it annoying to have to pay extra for sauce? Of course it is. But does it warrant doing what these three uh, demons did? Absolutely not. But here's the thing. I don't believe for one second this was about dipping sauce. And the reason that I don't believe that is because of what ensued here after they were told. You had one of the employees here that was actually filming what was going on. Two of them here, a 33-year-old woman and a 38-year-old man, were both injured here by these three demon women. Once these uh, demon women were told about the extra fee of the sauce, well, they completely lost their minds, including jumping behind the counter, stealing $10 in cash out of the register, picking up a metal stool, even throwing it there at one of the workers. They both had sustained head injuries, by the way, and you can... Uh, see this in the video clip for yourself. But then at one point, one of the women came at one of the workers with a taser. <laughs> okay, so this isn't about dipping sauce. You're, you're coming up here into a restaurant here with a taser. Okay, you had no, this was not about dipping sauce. Okay, you wanted to cause destruction. That was the whole goal here. And one of the workers even says here on the video, you're going to go to jail. You better stop, you're gonna to go to jail. But what do they do? They continued. They flipped them the middle finger. You had one of the demons that was up on the counter. They were dancing on it. And this was also the sickest thing too. There was a lot of sick things about this. But you had onlookers that were outside cheering these demons on as they attacked these workers, as they destroyed the restaurant, cheering them on not trying to stop it. No, they were enjoying the chaos that they were seeing. When police finally did show up, you had one of the demons actually punch one of the police officers in the face, tried to resist arrest. Thankfully, they were all arrested. But what's behind this? Again, that's not dipping sauce. There's a spiritual darkness behind this. And it also goes along with what these onlookers did by laughing, by cheering these women on. You know why? Because the Bible says that in the last days, men's hearts would become fixated upon... Take that word fixated. You know what fixated means? Obsessed. Just one definition. There's many others you can look up that word. But I like the word obsessed with evil continuously, not partially, okay, but continuously, meaning it never stops. It goes from one day to the next. And what do we see? Exactly that. Who oftentimes is glorified in these instances? The criminal. That, uh, that bodega worker, for example, that got sent to Rutgers Island. Okay? Who tried to defend himself? No, he wasn't allowed to do that. Who got propped up? The criminal. Men's hearts fixated upon evil continually. They would call evil good and good evil. That's what's happening. And you have politicians that are now doing what? They are confirming that. With their policies, with their stance, with their positions. All of it. All of it. As for Bell Fries, they have not announced when they will be reopening. 
as apparently there was hundreds of dollars worth of damage that was caused here in this attack. No word yet on the reopening, but I hope that when they do reopen, uh, that they get just incredible business. It was already very popular to begin with. And the fact that nobody stepped in to do anything. I'm telling you, it is, it's really an exclamation point on this society right now as a whole. Where is the good? Is it completely gone? Has the spirit of Antichrist already took over? I think the answer to that question is yes. It's going to be very important that Christians navigate these waters here in the last days very carefully and make sure that you are walking as close with Christ as you possibly can. Because this is lawlessness, which guess what is also the spirit of the Antichrist. He is the lawless one. Yeah, I bring things from a different perspective here. I don't just give you the headline and this and that. No, we break it down from an end time biblical perspective. Because you have to. Because it's exactly what this is. You won't hear this in regular media. Hang tight to Christ in these final days. Pray for a supernatural covering and protection over yourself, over your family, every single day. And also for God's favor. Because we're going to need it. Again, I'm going to put more information for you down below here in the description, including the link to that video. You can let me know your thoughts. Also, if you enjoy my daily content here talking about end-time Bible prophecy headlines, you want to help support the ministry with a generous donation, please click the link to my PayPal down below or sign up on my Patreon for 5 bucks a month. When you do, you will be alerted for all the content I put out. You don't have to rely on YT for notifications, guys, all right? You can get them all through Patreon, including being able to leave your comments there, completely censorship-free, and also send me direct messages. Again, all those links are down below. A big thank you to everybody already contributing and those thinking of doing so. Thank you as well. Your generosity greatly appreciated. Now, I'm not done just yet. I don't leave any video here without giving people the opportunity to receive Jesus as their Lord and Savior. If that is you, if you're watching right now, if you're somebody that is yet to receive Christ, I want to lead you in a prayer right now to get you to do just that. First thing that you want to do right off the top, acknowledge that you are a sinner. It's something we all are. I'll tell you the good news, though. God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world. He died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin, which means to turn from your sin, not just to say you're sorry, but to turn from lifestyles or habits, anything in your life that goes against the word of God. But if you humbly go before the Lord and you ask him to forgive you, he'll wipe your sin away. And the Bible says he doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God, you will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. I pray you make that decision today. I'll have more on this for you down below. You can let me know your thoughts. Don't forget the links to donate to our ministry are there as well. It is a great blessing if you could help us out. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.